Next speaker is Ms. Timia Shabo from the Hungarian delegation. She will be followed by Mr. Salami Altinok, head of the Turkish delegation. Ms. Timia Shabo, the floor yes, is yours. Thank you, Madam President. I understand that the Russian delegation is here today because on the very first anniversary of their brutal and unlawful war on Ukraine, because we cannot give up hope to engage in a sensible dialogue with Russia. Well, so be it, then here is my contribution to this dialogue as a member of the Hungarian uh, delegation. Dear Russian delegates, your president Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. Your army, the Russian army has, be has been committing war crimes and crimes against humanity in the territory of Ukraine. Since exactly a year ago, Russia has been doing nothing by breaking all international law, by invading a sovereign country and attacking, torturing, killing, raping, and abducting uh, innocent people, including women and children. Those who order and commit such uh, actions are war criminals. When at a time of ceasefire, you bomb a children's hospital, uh, killing uh, infants and uh, pregnant women and endangering them, you commit a war crime. When, according to a report by the Human Rights Ombudsman of Ukraine, members of the Russian army in Bucha kept at least 25 women in a basement, systematically raping them, then you commit a war crime. When Vladimir Putin's, uh, Putin's troops sweep through Ukrainian towns, leaving mass graves behind, then you commit a war crime. When the Russian army abducts hundreds of thousands of children and forcibly keep them in a closed camp, then you commit a war crime. This unlawful war must stop immediately. The Russian army must leave the territory of Ukraine immediately, and the perpetrator of, perpetrators of this war and crime must be held accountable because there is no peace without justice. And we at the OSCE must keep fighting stronger for this peace and justice. And yes, don't be surprised, this voice is coming from Hungary because there are still millions there who believe in peace, democracy, and the rule of law in my country. Thank you.